Hey guys, today I'm here to show some details to beginner students, okay, from mount control. How I can feel comfortable to control my opponent better. How I cannot, I don't, don't lose my balance when he tries to escape and use some reactions. From my action, he used some reactions to escape from my control, okay? The idea is, first of all, I need to control my balance and fix my control of my opponent. If I don't fix my balance, if I don't have a good balance, how I can submit my opponent or how I can step forward to engage the different situation or take his back or submit him, choke and take out the arm, right? I'm gonna show for you guys, first of all, uh, the reaction of my opponent. Most of the time, when I try mount on my opponent, he try escape, use the bridge escape, okay? He lay down, I'm sit here, and what he like to do, he try to control your arm and use the bridge escape to turn you down and stay on top. From that situation, he already escape and you lose your control. Or, he gonna push a little bit your hip and your knee and make the hip escape to find the space to escape his knee and escape the hips to the other side and engage the half guard. This is the most situations that your opponent is going to use. It's important to say for you guys, this is the concept about beginner's class, beginner student. They have to put in his mind what I need to do before learn how to submit him, how to choke him, take his arm, or take his back. You guys need to put in your mind, first of all, he needs to control himself. After, I'm gonna control my opponent. The first idea is, where I have exactly to sit to control my opponent better. If I cl sit closer of his leg, he can use more his hip to shake me, right? When he start, use the, 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 the upa, when he start, use the bridge escape, I can't, he gonna shake me a lot. And from that situation, if I try to choke my opponent, use my hand, and he try, start shake too much, of course I gonna lose my balance. I need to find the place, the exact place to control him. I like to control like this. I don't sit too much close off his leg. I like to sit in the middle of my opponent. From this one, I use my knees to control his arm a little bit. Don't let him close his arm and try push my leg to escape to half guard, right? And when he lift his hip, make the bridge escape, he don't, his motion, there is no too much effect, you know what I mean, on my body. First of all, fix your place to sit. The second one, your knee, you have to close your knee and tie your opponent to stop him, to control him better. Your, foot, your feet, try to close your thumb to control his hip better, his butt. Look, I take my feet and close like this. Sit in the right place, close your knee and close your feet. After, try to use, I don't think about how to submit him or choke my opponent, take his arm or step forward to the next position. I talk about how to control and fix my balance. Fix your place where you have to sit, close your knee, close your feet, and place your hands on the ground, on the mat. After this, I can control him better and feel the good situation, okay? I hope that position gonna fix your game and hope to be a champion.